ओके okay, नमस्ते काल दिस इज सीएस संकल्प कांस्या एंड आई वेलकम ईच वन ऑफ यू इन दिस अमेजिंग सेशन ऑन स्ट्रेटेजिक फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट आर यू रेडी टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू इन द अपकमिंग टू मंथ्स देन लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो अमेजिंग सेशंस इज नाउ व्हाट यू विल बी हैविंग इन द कोर्स ऑफ नेक्स्ट फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्सटी डेज एंड ट्रस्ट मी इट्स इट्स गोन बी a beautiful journey is what i promise all i want from you all is the hardcore discipline and i'm sure this subject is going to change your lives is going to change your career paths as well how is it going to change your lives because i'm sure if you score very good marks in this subject definitely you will become a chartered accountant how is it going to change your career because probably if the things go well then in that case i am sure by the end of all of these sessions you may even start to think making a career in this field of financial management so let's see how the whole system works up are you all excited keep on keep on communicating on a regular basis so that things are on the right track so let me start with my small introduction so guys my name is c c s sankal kanstia by profession i am a chartered accountant i am a company secretary and the reason i am starting with this subject is because i have a rich experience of working in the field of finance for a span of 4 years post chartered accountancy qualification so it is not that you know i have just come here because i had no option but i am here with this subject for a simple reason because i have used all my i thought of using all the knowledge that i have gained of working in jp morgan if you know the name jp morgan it is world's one of the biggest financial service provider a biggest multinational company which is into providing of financial services i was in jp morgan in their asset management and due diligence the financial due diligence team for a span of uh, approximately 4 years and that is where the whole inclination towards this subject began obviously uh, it started with the costing and eventually i had to get here as well but uh, as they said never too late to begin so i'll share my journey in uh jp morgan as well as and when we progress with these lectures but for now i'll i'll just give you an update of how it all started so i cleared my ca examinations by 22 and i was always inclined towards teaching so i always wanted to get into that but my parents especially my father convinced me that boss you've done your cacs now you have a degree it's good that you have a passion for teaching but why don't you keep that passion for saturday sunday work in a multinational company from monday to friday you will also build your capital and in the meantime in saturday sunday you will realize whether it is your passion or it is just you know a uh, come and go thing so i thought okay let's give that a try so that's where i gave a lot of interviews uh, in fact my first interview was with jp morgan post that even when i accepted the offer even after that i was still uh, giving interviews with a lot of other companies especially the big four as a chartered accountant you know if you've not given an interview with big four you know it's it's almost that your degree is incomplete so i gave my interviews there i was selected with kpmg ey uh, selected with jp morgan as well but finally i thought that yes this is the area which is going to be really interesting for me otherwise the other departments in ey or kpmg i that that i got were uh, stat audit departments which i felt that it's okay i think my more interest is towards finance so how did my interview go if you have been my scmp student probably you would know how it went but if you are not and if you are listening to my lecture for the first time i'll just give you a gist of how it all began so jp morgan i had to clear six rounds of interview before i was finally selected and trust me uh, the whole process of selection in jp morgan was a enriching experience in itself so my first round was hr round second round was my senior hr round all of these rounds were very good you know hrs senior hrs these are the 
see hr senior hrs these are the best people in the world they will talk so politely and they will always be in your favor so first two rounds were brilliant then the third round was the tough tough nut to crack the third round was with the vice president of the company and in that panel there was a chartered accountant with an experience of more than 12 to 15 years in that panel we had a, uh, a mba from probably i think he did it from i am did it his graduation from iit also there was the hr sitting there who had already interviewed me so then is where started my journey of the jp morgan interview now listen to it first two rounds were brilliant i seriously thought after giving my uh, hr rounds i seriously thought that boss now i am selected no ways the, you know the academically i was sound and the hr was really really positive for me so i was really happy so then the interview began the vice president of the company the chartered accountant both of them looked at my cv and trust me my cv was very very promising so uh, in terms of academics i had cleared two major inter uh, major professional degrees and overall i i was a student of uh, narsi monji college from mumbai which again is one of the very reputed colleges of mumbai and i would say of india as well so things were very much positive till then then a question was asked to me they told me that please run us through your cv so i ran them through my cv and that is where i told them that sir i want to make a career in finance because i knew that jp morgan is mainly into finance and i told them that i want to make a career in finance mainly i want to be a investment banker yes that's what i told them not knowing really what investment banking is frankly speaking but i had heard that your investment banking means yes high quality job you know you have to come in some suits blazers and uh, you know high hefty paychecks easily 15 20 lakhs and this i'm speaking of what 10 12 years back so that is when uh, i would be getting 12 to 15 lakhs i thought boss life is set so they started with the whole conversation they told me that very very impressive that you are feeling that yes you should join this organization in investment banking department so let us start with your interview i was like yes sir definitely the first question that they asked me was uh, mr sankal please tell us the top 3 investment banking deals that have happened in the last 6 months in india in the last one year in india yes this was their first question mr sankal what are the top 3 investment banking deals that have happened in the last one year in india now i was a fresh chartered accountant do you know as a, do you feel as a fresh chartered accountant we really know that what are the investment banking deals going around in the last one year frankly speaking see today is a world of you know applications and still a lot of things are available on social media but just imagine 12 years back when there was no social media we had no access to all of these things and trust me i had no clues whatsoever i fumbled a bit and then i told them that sir <laughs> frankly speaking i have no idea of what you are speaking of i don't know any investment banking deal okay no problem no you only said no you want to be an investment banker so if that's your area of interest probably we thought you would know it like uh, yes sir but i have no idea and trust me uh, this is a true story your sweat this is a true story that i'm saying why will i say negative about myself unnecessarily no na okay second question listen to me second question that they asked me was okay who are the lead book running managers or the merchant bankers of these transactions of these investment banking transactions tell me as a chartered account do you feel i would know this answer no definitely i didn't know any single word who are the merchant bankers book lead running managers i've just heard it even that too also when i was doing my cs but as a part of curriculum you don't know no who's your merchant banker and all of these pe people so again second question and i had no clues what the answer will be question number 3 they're like okay okay no problem you said that uh, your investment banking is your area of interest so we thought we'll ask you as like gone boss <laughs> third question third question they asked me was acha what is the ballpark of the deals what is the ballpark of the investment banking deals that have happened recently in india or you can also tell us globally 
what is the ballpark of the deals do we know what is the meaning of ballpark i didn't know at all i mean leave aside ballpark of the deal i don't even know what does the word ballpark mean it basically now i know it basically means the what is the transaction value and all of that but i had no clues what is the question is being asked to me you know few minutes back i had put my collar on thinking that oh my god mr sankal is going to take home 15 20 lakhs but now the collar is down now his eyes are also down and he is bombarded with questions of which i have trust me no clues whatsoever i still remember that day you know uh, in the morning batch somebody asked me that sir what was your reaction when you were not able to answer i said first question i thought it's okay one two question i don't know so i was able to answer by the time they asked the third question i had no clue what they are speaking of literally sweat pores were falling from my forehead legit i still remember and i seriously wanted to run off from that interview i seriously wanted that boss i don't want to give any more interview here because i am now feeling whether i am really a chartered accountant or not i mean three questions and i am not even able to speak a single word you know i am not even able to bluff something yaar right so seriously i was having a tough time the hr was there he was also watching me now i told you hrs are the good people so he told me it's okay mr sankal you can have some water the water is was kept you can have some water and you can you know stay calm it's okay if even if you don't know so i got an hint from him that it's okay you don't know anything boss thoda you will have to go away from here i don't think so you are going to get a job here so this is what i thought i seriously felt that somebody tell me mr sankal the interview is over please get lost from here but no that was not the scenario they asked these first three questions they were not, i was not able to answer them at all i drank a little bit of water and then again i tried to recompose myself then they asked few more questions they asked another question that mr sankal uh, you have also mentioned in your hobby that you like playing cricket i was like yes sir i seriously like it so they asked me a question relating to a cricket they told me that suppose if the bowler balls the ball hey, you also try to answer if you know it bowler balls the ball suppose the batsman misses it the wicket keeper also misses it and behind the wicket keeper there is a helmet the ball hits the helmet how many runs will the batsman get come on do you have any idea i immediately answered sir five runs i knew this answer and i was so ecstatic that finally i am able to answer something hush i told them sir five runs five runs so he was like okay very good mr sankal very good so it if it hits the helmet you get five runs the batsman gets five runs then he asked me another question okay you have also read in your hobby reading books now usually we copy paste no while making a cv but thankfully i do read books and it was uh, a genuine thing that i told them that yes sir i like reading books he told me last book which you have read now the book also has a movie named after it two states if you would know alia bhat and arjun kapoor have acted in that movie so i told them that sir i have uh, read the book two states by chetan bhagat and it's a good book so he told me okay please tell me the story of two states in one minute and i actually gave them the story that it's a love story between a, a tamilian girl and a punjabi boy and they fall in love but the, there are issues from the parents but finally parents accept it all of that in within a span of one two minutes i gave them full book answer and they said very good your answer is absolutely correct and immediately the other person told me if investment banking was really your passion then in that case like you have answered the last two questions you would have answered the first three questions as well no i was like now when i am answering the question that is also a problem when i was not answering the prop question that also a problem they told me that if your real interest is investment banking why didn't you answer the first three questions like you have done for the last two questions oh gosh trust me man i was having the day of my life i was like boss please i am asking you <laughs> folded hands please tell me to leave i'll be happy more than happy to leave but things didn't stop there it continued so then they asked me some typical questions yes then they asked me some questions relating to profits and gains from business and profession then they asked me some questions relating to yeah see people are laughing here sai puja nakka is laughing boss you don't know what i was going through yaar 
then they ask me some typical questions that okay tell us something about profits and gains from business and profession so they ask me a question relating to that then they ask me a question relating to capital gain taxation and i was able to give them a very pit pat answer then they asked me questions on accounting standard at that point in time there were accounting standards uh, unlike the indias that you have now so accounting standard relating to as 22 deferred tax and then there was as 19 question on leasing both questions i was able to answer in the very swift manner then they asked me something about the NPV, IRR, capital budgeting. Again, I was able to answer. And then finally, they were really impressed. And I seriously felt that I would not be selected. But thankfully, I was called for round four. Then there was round five, round six. They were also okay, okay rounds. Not that difficult like how it was the third round. So I seriously felt that I would not be selected. But to my surprise, the HR person called me and told that don't worry, you are selected. The first three questions were to ensure that if you are flying high in the sky, we better bring you to your levels. Okay. And then we negotiate our salary accordingly. <laughs> so that is what their strategy was. So they didn't judge me based on the first three questions. They were always prepared that i was not going to answer the first three questions but because i was able to answer the remaining questions my communication skills were good when i was answering the questions relating to pzbp capital gains accounting standards npv irs they thought that yes this person is fit for the job and they selected me finally see i got selected but i feel now in this competitive world it may not be possible for you to be as lucky as I was. So that's why then, you know, when I was selected after that, I went to that vice president and that CA and I asked them, sir, how did you select me? My interview was not that good. They're like, it's okay. We knew that you are a fresher and we knew that you will not never be able to answer these questions. But we thought that let's test you that let's bring your overconfidence a little down and then we'll talk man to man. So I was like, okay, now see, these are big people. They would know how to uh, handle things. But that is the day when I realized that, see, this is where I'm giving my interview. It's okay that I was not able to answer them. They realized that it's my communication. Uh, my communication is good. And they realized that, okay, he may not have those knowledge. But what when JP Morgan has selected me, now I'm going to communicate with my clients from all over the world. And if I'm not able to answer these practical questions, it will be the biggest back down of my life. And that is what was the biggest trigger of my life. And from that day till now, there has never been a day when I haven't read this so that my financial knowledge, my every market knowledge is updated. So please start doing this. Now I'm not a brand ambassador for Economic Times, but I'm just telling you, neither am I a brand ambassador for iPhone 14, no. <clears throat> but I'm just telling you that this is our future. At least for the next two months, you should know everything. What is written here? Sir, but we don't understand what is given in Economic Times. Sir, we don't have time. Sir, we are article clerks. We are so busy. Whatever it is, we have to spare some time for it from now on. So then I, I spoke this to my father. He told me that, boss, let's start. No, you start reading Economic Times. So I said that, Papa, I'm not able to understand a lot of things. So he told, okay, what is your interest? So I also I told him again. See, now I like cricket. I was able to answer. I like Bollywood. I was able to answer that Bollywood ka, uh, movie based novel also. Bollywood, uh, Hollywood, Hollywood, all of that. So he told me, start reading, reading Bombay Times. Have you seen Bombay Times? It is full of this. Full glamour. Glamour everybody likes only by default. So I thought, chalo, I'll start with that. At least my reading habit will improve. Then my father told me that, see, in the last page of, see this Times of India, see in the last page of Times of India, there is article related to your uh, football and your cricket and everything. Start reading that. At least you will develop a habit and it actually worked for me. I started a developing a habit for my newspaper reading and eventually this is what I continued with and till date you know I wait eagerly in the morning that when will this newspaper come and I will be able to explore the global financial markets how I will be able to understand what is going on in the share market in the taxation arena in the management consultancy so much to do so this was about my story so finally i got selected in jp morgan and had the best time of my life around uh, three and a half to four years 
uh, we, I was in asset management and financial due diligence team and we had some super duper smart people. I worked with MBAs there from IIMs. I worked there with international CFAs. I worked there with my chartered accountant colleagues and oh my God, so much learning that I've got from there. All of this will be shared with each one of you as well when we start with this subject. But I want a promise. What promise am I asking for? I hope you would know by now. Tell me, what is the promise that I am looking for? Everybody, please tell me in the group. Hey, everybody is awake. No. How did you like my entry into JP Morgan? Entry into the world of strategic financial management. Had I got rejected in that interview, then I would have joined a typical audit firm, big fours. And probably I wouldn't have such good knowledge of finance and um, wouldn't have been here. So that's how it works. Right, 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 right. Okay. Now, what is the one thing, one promise that I'm expecting from you guys? Tell me guys. Come on. One promise that I'm expecting from you. Yes, you got it right. Please. Mega Lakshmi is absolutely correct. <laughs> Darshan is saying you would have become an audit teacher then. But I don't think so. It would have been possible. In audit, I have... In intermediate audit, I scored 42 marks. In inter CA final audit, I scored 41 marks. So I don't think so. Audit is ever going to be my cup of tea. <laughs> Chalo. Yes, Satish Babu, commitment and discipline. But one thing that I want from you all is get connected to the economic times. Definitely in the lectures also, we will be discussing. I will be discussing. See, this is come in the economic times. Did you read this? Did you read that? All of this will come from my end. But... Please stay attentive to all of these things because see, it is not about just becoming a chartered accountant for the sake of it. Let's become a chartered accountant with knowledge as well. Definitely, I will ensure that this subject gives you that 80, 90, 100 marks that you are looking for. But at the same time, I also want you to be, you know, knowledgeable for this subject. Make a career out of it and that will make me the happiest person on this earth. So please ensure that we are connecting all of this with the financial world and that's how the system will work. So that was my introductory uh, journey as regards my CA journey is concerned, my JP Morgan journey is concerned and that is where the spark was sown as regards, yes, I will become a professor for financial management as well. But time had its course and we started with uh, costing and now finally, finance financial management so now uh, let's try and understand after my start journey let's try and understand what icai has in store for you in this subject strategic financial management are you ready then let's get started so first things first let us quickly discuss the sfm Strategic financial management, a part of your CA final group one, paper two. So pa uh, paper two, group one is what SFM subject is into. And let us first understand what are the broad topics that we are going to understand in this subject. And for that, I have divided this whole subject into four broader parts. Let me discuss those four broader parts with you. I have divided it into four phases. We will call the first phase as phase one. Then we have the phase two. Then we have the phase three. And then we have the phase four. So how have I divided it? Let me write it down. You don't write anything, guys. See, one thing I will tell you. Whatever I am writing will be uploaded on the Google Drive link as well. So you don't need to write for now. It is not that we will not be doing the writing practice. We will be doing abundant writing practice. We will be solving all the sums. But when I am teaching something, when I am delivering, delivering a concept, that is where I want all of you to be totally, totally attached to me. All right, guys. And then I will give you enough time to write and then you can easily manage all of that. All right, guys. So four phases is what I have divided into. Acha, please, one thing remember that have full two way communication. The more we communicate with each other, the better output we will get in this subject. And by default, 
after the break, the session that I'm going to take is going to ensure that by default, you are going to communicate with me a lot. Chalo. So for now, let's start here. So I have divided this subject very smartly. How very smartly? I will be telling you all of that. Don't worry. I have divided this subject into four parts. Phase one, phase two, phase three and phase four. So phase one, then we have the phase two, then we have the phase three and then we have the phase four. All right, guys. So these are the four phases that I have divided it into. How am I divided into? Why did I say that it is smartly divided? Because each phase covers approximately 25 marks and I will prove it. I will prove it. Don't worry. I am not saying this just for the sake of it. I have bought ICAI's paper here. So we will also analyze today itself. Yes, we are going to analyze ICAI's few past papers so that you get a confidence that, okay, things are on the right track. But for now, for now, let us understand how this phase is divided. I have divided this phase into four parts. I call the first phase as medium phase. I call the second phase as a difficult phase. I call the third phase as easy phase and I call the first phase as very easy phase. You would know this that every subject will have its share of highs and lows. Some things which will be very easy, some things which will be difficult. Obviously, that's the charm of giving a CA examination paper. Some will be medium and some will be very very easy as well all right guys so i have given them names i have given them names i'll tell you what names i've given you see i am a very big foodie big foodie you can see it from my uh, health that i'm a big foodie means i live to eat or i eat to live is one and the same thing only two passions in life one teaching other eating whenever if you meet me please ensure that Wherever and whenever we meet in your city, you are taking me out. I want that promise from each one of you. Okay. And to the best food eatery in the town. Promise? Okay, good. So, uh, same here. Okay, that's great to know. So, I call this first phase as Sev Puri. See, I'm from Bombay. So, these eatery things are very common in our uh, locality. So first phase I call it as Sev Puri. Second phase I call it as Tikka Pani Puri. Vaya, tikka Pani Puri. Uh, third phase easy is I call it as uh, Sukha Bhel. And fourth phase I call it as Sev Kurmura. <laughs> Let's go to Mahavir Nagar. Oh my God, Darshan Solanki. Most welcome my boy. <laughs> so... By, by default every Friday and Saturday Darshan I am there only. You can find me there. Chalo. So these are the four phases. Now let's understand it from the lens of strategic financial management before I get carried away. And yeah, you got me, no? Yeah, before I start imagining all of those things, let me focus here. Chalo. So first phase consists of three chapters. The first chapter is your mutual funds. The way I'm describing the phase, I will be teaching you that way only in that uh, whole perspective only okay so first phase is first phase consists of mutual funds and then we have portfolio management and then we have security valuation then we have security valuation so these are the uh, <laughs> sai puja nakka is feeling very craving hungry craving oh same here let's go chalo second phase we will write and that as I told you, is the most crucial phase and that is why I have kept it in between and that is Forex and Derivatives. So yes, Forex and Derivatives will be done together by us. Then the third phase is about Corporate Valuation and Mergers and Acquisition. Mergers and Acquisition, you know the connect that I am speaking of. And last phase is basically speaking of all the theory chapters so what are the theory chapters there is startup finance and not write all of them there is startup finance there is securitization there is financial policy and corporate policies uh, then there is risk management then there is security analysis so here we have security valuation there we have security analysis so this is how i have divided the four phases 
the fourth phase is hardcore theory the fourth phase is hardcore theory phase yes there are few parts of practical questions also so i'll just quickly take you to the phases that i just mentioned so what is the first phase mutual fund see now the numbering here that i have given you so all of this will be shared with you don't worry you don't have to write anything just pay attention this numbering is given as per ICI module. All of the things that I'm going to teach you will by default be as per, strictly as per ICAI module. So the first phase says as per chapter 4 security valuation, portfolio management, chapter 5, chapter 7 mutual funds. But we will be starting with mutual funds, then portfolio management and then we will move on to security valuation. So 7, 5, 4. This is how my phase 1 will be divided into. I hope I am clear. Now, as I told you that this is like a medium level. This is like a, yes, this is like a medium level. And uh, that's where we start. Second phase is the most crucial phase. And this is where if we are able to have a grip, then in that case, nothing like it. And that is derivatives, forex, international financial management, interest rate risk management oh my god this is when the whole international global finances is going to be understood do you know why is us dollar so important we will be studying it here not to worry then we have the phase three which speaks of corporate valuation and mergers and acquisitions that after a merger whether the market price of that company is going to increase or decrease, you do a merger and acquisition, one as per your amalgamation, as per your accounts. But this is as per finance, whether market price per share will increase, whether it is resulting in the synergy benefit, 1 plus 1 should be equal to 11. If you remember, there was a merger or acquisition, say, just recently Adani acquired, Adani Enterprises acquired some shares in NDTV and the price of NDTV shot up. So what was that? All of that discussion is going to be happen in third phase and the fourth phase is going to be about, sorry, the fourth, fourth phase is going to be about your, yes, the theory phase. So financial policy and corporate strategy, risk management, security analysis, this risk management and security analysis has a little bit of practical as well, has a little bit of practical as well so risk management security analysis will have a little bit of practical then you have securitization and then you have startup finance but predominantly this risk management and security analysis is your predominantly they are what they are theory oriented with a little bit of practicality so we will understand all of that through these four phases so i hope we are clear guys so now whenever you are going to revise this is the pattern that you are going to take. And whenever you are now going to revise, okay, phase one, chalo, pick it up, let's do it. 25 marks secure. Phase two, let's pick up the block, let's do it. 25 marks secure. Phase three, let's do it. Phase four, let's do it. So do we need to do the theory by any chance? Any one of you can tell me whether doing theory is compulsory or we can just leave it a little in option because predominantly we have uh, practical oriented questions. Do you feel theory is that important? You will answer it in five minutes. Don't answer it right now. Just wait for five minutes and then I will ask you the same question again. And then you tell me whether theory is important or not. Let's go through this paper that I was speaking of. This is a ICAI paper. This is a ICAI paper. Okay. Look at this question number one. A. B. Can you see the question number 1C? What question is that? Achha, theory question. So 1C question theory and any which case question number 1 is compulsory. Okay. So chalo, in the meantime, I will also tell you about the paper pattern and then we will come to that theory part also. So paper pattern also is now I am going to discuss. So three things now I want from you all. First, are you clear with the phases? Phase 1. Mutual fund, portfolio management, security valuation, medium phase. Phase 2, forex derivatives, international finance, interest rate risk management. Difficult phase. I am sure I will make it easy. But let's understand it from a general perception. Phase 3, corporate valuation and mergers and acquisition. 
and phase four theory startup finance securitization corporate uh, startup uh, thing security analysis risk management all of that all right guys correct correct saman vita siba all right are we clear guys with these phases and this is how i will work now ideally you may say that sir let's start with easy or very easy no and then we will go to the medium and difficult part i'll say no let's start with medium so that we get a good feel of the subject and then as we are peaking we will start with the difficult thing so that when we are at the peak of understanding we are doing the difficult thing i don't want to start with difficult also so that i start with forex and initially only we are demotivated to start or initially only we'll feel that oh my god so much heavy subject so i don't want that also so let's do it systematically and i'm sure we'll be able to manage it in the best manner possible so that's where i thought that phase 1 medium will start so we get a feel of the subject phase 2 is when we will peak for the subject phase 3 ah uh, then now light and phase 4 is wow we are flying all right guys so that's how the uh, as i told you the planning has been right then i was coming to the paper pattern the paper pattern is very very typical question number 1 is going to be compulsory question is going to be compulsory question of 20 marks now majority of the times what i have seen is that this is 8 plus 8 plus 4 question it may also be a 10 into 2 question 10 marks two questions it may also become a 5 mark into 4 question see this is ica it is better not to predict majority it is going to be this but just to confuse you a little icai may bring two questions of 10 10 mark they may bring five marks four questions so it's it can, anything can happen but predominantly this is the pattern that i have seen then we have the next part and that is question number 2 to question number 6 question number 2 to question number 6 now in this question number 2 to question number 6 in this question number 2 to question number 6 we have to attempt any four and all of this are also of 20 marks same either 8 plus 8 plus 4 philosophy or 10 into 2 philosophy or 5 into 4 philosophy 20 marks is what question number 2 to 6 will be so now a question may come that question number 1 2 3 4 5 we will do sir question number 6 will be theory let's leave that theory in option okay okay this is what you feel chal let's now come to this now this is a paper this is a paper of say november 22 as you can see ladies and gentlemen uh beyond that papers also we can see but as of now what is opened in my ipad is november 22 paper let's have a check question number 1 a is of mergers and acquisitions year in when we were looking at may 22 first question was of forex how do you know sir see here dollar rate is given dollar rate is given dollar rate is given so i know you don't know the chapters all of it but at least you know no that dollar is there means forex is there something so question number 1 can be anything so dare you even think of leaving any chapter in option are you even thinking of it please stop that thinking immediately because anything can be asked in this compulsory question mind you anything a n y t h i n g get it straight in your head so if anything can be asked let us be prepared for everything if anything can be asked let us be prepared for everything wow wow wow, wow. all right guys so that's where uh, we see that two different papers two different chapters were asked okay question number 1 a practical 1 b practical but look at question number 1 c question number 1 c is theory with your permission i'll just write it down that we are analyzing november 22 paper and we are just analyzing the theory question so here we analyze the theory question we see that question number 1 c was a theory question okay let's see when they ask the next theory question okay next theory question now question number 2 a starts here 2 a starts okay so 2 a 2 b 2c can you see this 2c what is this acha 2c is also again a theory question mm -hmm. 2c is also again a theory question 4 marks 4 marks okay again again next 
क्वेश्चन थ्री ए क्वेश्चन थ्री बी क्वेश्चन थ्री सी थ्री सी वॉट इज थ्री सी ओ हो अगेन थियोरी क्वेश्चन सो थ्री सी अगेन थियोरी क्वेश्चन अगेन फॉर फोर मार्क्स हम्म क्वेश्चन फोर ए क्वेश्चन फोर बी क्वेश्चन फोर सी अगेन थियोरी क्वेश्चन फोर सी अगेन थियोरी एनरी फोर क्वेश्चन आई अंडरस्टैंडिंग गाइज अगेन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ए फाइव बी एंड लुक एट दिस फाइव सी अगेन अ थियोरी क्वेश्चन लुक एट सिक्स ए सिक्स बी अगेन सिक्स सी इज अ थियोरी क्वेश्चन हु ऑन दिस अर्थ वुड हैव थॉट ऑफ लिविंग द थियोरी नाउ इन ऑप्शन can you think of it if you are planning to get 80 plus don't even think of it just imagine now four question four marks six questions totality to approximately 24 marks and see this is what my phase 4 is this is what my phase 4 is approximately i told you it is 25 marks and see this is how my whole theory questions have been lined up Uh, 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 uh. Are you understanding, guys? Okay. Then, 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 then. Let's analyze one more paper, no? So it's possible that one paper they have asked like this. Let's analyze one more paper. Chalo, let's analyze. Who is saying no? So here, if I am analyzing this May twenty two paper, if I am analyzing this May twenty two paper, one A, one B, one C. What is one C? Sir, theory question. Okay, sir. Compulsory question can be theory. Okay. Two A, two B, two C is again. अ अ अ थियोरी क्वेश्चन थ्री ए थ्री बी थ्री सी इज अगेन थियोरी क्वेश्चन फोर ए फोर बी फोर सी इज अगेन थियोरी क्वेश्चन बॉस फाइव ए फाइव बी फाइव सी इज अगेन अ थियोरी क्वेश्चन सिक्स ए सिक्स बी सिक्स सी इज अगेन अ थियोरी क्वेश्चन लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन द सेम पैटर्न इज बींग फॉलोड योर एज वेल O M G, would you believe it? Tell me. so guys are you realizing the importance of theory you better do realize guys you better do realize yes inevitable that's the correct word that's the correct word wow so okay 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 so all i can say is now are we clear with the whole scenario of what all sfm consists of it consists of 14 chapters phase 1 will have three chapter phase 2 will have few chapters phase 3 will have four chap three few chapters phase 4 will have few chapters 25 marks see now we saw 25 marks theory yes it is coming only here we saw this same 6 into 4 and and and, and. did you see this now see this say for example phase 1 mutual funds eight mark question is there usually portfolio management eight mark question is there security valuation eight mark question is there eight these are 24 remaining phase 3 phase 2 phase 3 again this is a general uh, scenario general trend that i have seen at times it is very much possible that icai may shift a few marks here and there in some other topic or something but that doesn't bother us because we are any which case going to give equal importance right all right guys sir will most theory questions come from phase 4 chapters yes sd siddar that's a good question yes 
the phase four chapters are specific theory chapters and nine out of ten questions will be from phase four only again i'm telling you nine out of ten so that one question may be asked from phase one phase two phase three we'll prepare ourselves for that also but phase four even from ici point of view even they have internally thought that yes those chapters which mr sankalp has said in phase four are predominantly are predominantly in the the phase four chapters are predominantly what just a moment yeah are predominantly theory oriented chapters okay guys yes done sure so that's how the whole system works the paper pattern is clear to each one of you the theory part is clear to each one of you so now the most important part that we are going to understand is the sir what is the content that we are going to follow the most important your optimized book for sfm so now i'm going to understand make you understand the whole pattern of the book and you will realize the kind of efforts that has been put from our end which will make you confident i assure you which will make you confident for this subject and it will ensure that yes you will now start imagining definite 80 plus for this subject yes the wait is just over this is how the whole book looks like and i have prepared it with a proper content in my head with a proper flow in my head let me share you that flow let me share you that flow the first thing that we are going to start with is a motivation quote because that's what all of us are always in need of a motivation and if you see here the motivation here starts in the first see there will be motivation from a steve jobs from a uh, adhirva ambani from a michael jordan everywhere you are in there everywhere don't let the noise of others opinion drown out your inner voice so let us our inner voice be very very uh, clear so that's when we start with now as a student i always used to do this whenever i used to start a chapter i used to open the suggested answers to check for how many marks in the last few attempts has this chapter been asked do you also do that i used to do it for my foundation intermediate final so you are also going to do that now no need for you this chart is already ready that how much was asked in november 22 or how was in asked in may 22 how was much was asked in december 21 july 21 all of this so last six to seven attempts eight attempts all of this detail is given in front of you so now you know that yes at least eight marks will be asked from mutual fund every attempt eight mark question has been asked one attempt 16 question has been asked 16 mark question has been asked now tell me will you ever dare to even leave this chapter in option never you know 8 to 16 mark is the weightage of this chapter boss so second thing that i have written is marks allocation by icai the second thing that i have put in this book is marks allocation so every chapter will have this pattern marks allocation by icai based on past papers based on past papers third thing that now we are going to understand of the book and that is your study mentor whoa this is the person who will guide you towards that exemption towards that journey of 80 marks so what is this study mentor this study mentor will give you a whole gist of what exactly are we going to study in this chapter and as and when i teach you you have to put a tick mark say for example i teach you question number 4 today calculation of nav with different instruments as soon as it is done you put a tick mark here when we are done then after that you will revise after that put a tick mark here you will revise again put a tick mark here and if you really want to get a rank then in that case boss this has to be filled with all the tick marks you can see there with all the tick marks that are available suppose during the examination i feel that uh, sir in the examination obviously uh, 
I will share the important questions with you. But you feel when you are doing that, sir, question number 30, I'm finding it very difficult. So on the day of examination, I feel question 30 should be done. And sir, also secondly, I feel that sir, question number 46 is very important. It is a master sum. During the exam, I have to see. So you can use a highlighter to highlight those questions which you are going to see in the examination. So when you give your FR examination and come, you will open this book. You will immediately see that, okay, this red point is highlighted. You will immediately, this green point is highlighted. You will go to page 46, solve this sum. You will go to page 54, solve this sum. So that during the exam time, the study mentor will be a real mentor for you. Are we understanding? See, every person will have its own positives and weakness. This question may be a weakness for you highlighted. This question, according to you, we all have our own intuitions for the examinations. As per my intuition, this question, this uh, point may come in the examinations. I feel this is a master sum covering all the concepts. Let me do this also. So you don't have to waste your time or you don't have to write it somewhere else in some other book. This book itself will do that work for you. How many times have you revised? You should know. You should know that, okay, this question I have revised three times, but this question I may have just revised one time. Some question I would have revised five times, so no need to look at it again. All of this in one place. And that is where we call this person as your friend, your philosopher and your guide. And your guide. Right, guys? Got it? So, this is what your study mentor is going to do for you. What it is going to do? It is going to be a planning tool for you. Great. Study mentor of SCMP optimized book really helped me a lot. That's nice to know. And that is the reason I ensured that I will not miss even a single thing here in SFM as well. So, study mentor and I will be using this. Why? For top level planning purposes okay so next immediately we will move on to the next part and that is your the preview and the preview is not like that only this preview is like a summary of this whole chapter this preview is like a summary of this whole chapter yes so see your type of schemes is what you have here then fixed maturity plans exchange traded funds cash fund hedge fund all of this is taken here o options of mutual fund growth plan bonus plan dividend payout classification so you have a summary out here then obviously detailed part is discussed ahead right then summary and then you have the formulas can you see this so formula for nav formula for return formula for required return tracking entry load exit load all of this is also covered here. Hey, Sanjay Gidu, everybody. So here, the next part is my preview. And the preview is a mind-blowing combination of summary of the chapter. At the same time, formulas are also there. So you will have, in this preview, you will have summary as well as formulas all at one place. All at one place. Gotcha, everybody. Gotcha. Yes. Next, next, next. We don't stop here. No, no, no ways we will stop here. Then we have the concept callers. Now, I will start this chapter, but in a unique way. Nowhere on this earth will you find a start of a mutual fund like this. A Rakesh Junjunwala, a gold, a real estate. Where do I invest? I'm confused. And that is where I go to the mutual funds. We and my team has done a detailed analysis that what was the gold price in the last 25 years from 1995 to 2000, 22, 23, so on. From your nifty rates, nifty sensex, all of this, I will make you understand, but this is basically share market. What was the share market in 1995? What is the share market now? All of this has been covered here. Again, this, you will not find it in any book, in any module, anywhere. No, never. But is this helpful? Definitely when we are going to understand the whole chapter, that is where you will realize that this is so important as well. So all of this analysis and then we start with the whole chapter. The chapter will start with concepts and after every concept, there will be example. Here's a simple way to understand the concept of mutual fund unit. So we understood the concept. We have an example. 
we have some diagrammatic presentation are you understanding again we have some concepts we have some examples we have some concepts we wherever required i made it in a tabular form what is how to establish a mutual fund so all of this in a tabular form easy to understand and grasp a samjhudu are we clear everybody so this is how i have prepared the whole books main content so here we will write that next in line we have concept notes plus examples to understand those concept notes right so yes yes very soon you will receive the copy in case you have not received it and if you have it i'm sure you are eager to understand right so this is about your portfolio classification and every okay i'll just hold off that every single word of icai module is covered mind you okay every single word yes chalo so oh hi dina you are there i thought you are not there chalo so then again the whole thing then then continues the whole concepts and then examples is what we have so here we have say arbitrage funds now icai will just give you this much icai will just give you this much that what is arbitrage fund but what i have done i have specifically ensured that we write an example here so that it becomes easy for you to understand so obviously i'll explain you the example but even when you are reading it on your own you will be using it as well got it everybody so that's how the whole system works so this is about your initial concept building exercise and your theory exercise then starts our practical questions then starts our practical questions so now you will have a question sir what is the coverage of practical questions so let me write you with pride all the thing that we are going to yes sarva gun sampann very nicely said darshan practical questions will be from icai module definitely rtp definitely mtp definitely past papers 200% definitely right then then what else so this is the icai content do you feel icai starts with basic questions the answer is no icai will start immediately start with a medium level or a high level question so sir what about the basic question that is what i will put on my own so basic questions of myself then some questions that i have taken specially from my end so there are few sk special questions as well that we are going to solve some questions probably taken from a cwa or from a old syllabus pm as well wherever i feel it relates to your content that we are studying so see here it starts with a basic question now if you open your icai module which you may have at least in a soft copy they will start directly with a medium level question but as a student icai i know icai assumes everything that student knows everything then why are they taking exams also he knows everything only no any to nonsense but obviously as a professor i know that we need to gear up from the basics and then build up so that is where see here first question basic calculation of nav this is there you will never find this question in an icai module basic calculation of nav uh, net asset value you will never find this question so first we'll focus on these basics once we are through then yes we can start building up towards the medium level questions here basic calculation of nav now you may have calculation of nav with different instruments so what i have done first put up my own basic questions so that you are not bombarded with high level questions immediately if i was to directly start with icai module no never past papers definitely past papers will be done and what i have done again in terms of past paper i have specifically made a section of past papers you will really be happy to notice this you will really be happy to notice this see i have specifically made a section of past paper questions and rtp can i say all of us will open the suggested answers of icai some day or the other looking out that what are the past questions asked what are the questions i may say that yes all of the questions that i have done have been included in the past paper also 
But what exactly are the questions that you've been asked at least in the last four or five attempts? Here you have the past paper question of say a probably November 22 attempt or say a May 22 attempt or say a December 21. If you remember because of COVID, the exams were in December 21 or probably one attempt before July 21 or probably a question on Jan 21 or probably a question on November 20. Last six attempts. All the questions specifically that have been asked in your examinations have been covered here. Have been covered here. Right? You would do that exercise. No need to waste time in that. Please, in fact, invest your time in practice. And that's the reason I have invested that time and ensured that this as it is from the suggested I have picked up and put it here so that your time is saved. But you have to promise me that you will increase your effectivity and practice all of this for your benefits. This also includes your RTP questions. This also includes your RTP. So what I have done, past paper questions, RTP questions, all together. All together. At the same time, if a particular question, what is the theme of that particular question? See here, in the bracket I have written, what is the theme of this question? In the bracket I have written usually, what is the theme of the question? So that will also be there. See here, what is the theme of the question? At the same time, it is a module question. Right? What is the theme of the question? Accordingly, it is also written here. Right? So, all of this covered. Now, if this is a module question, written here. This is a module question, written here. This is a module question, it will be written here. So, you know what is a module question. If it is a past paper question, you know RTP question, I will specifically mention it. So, I don't think so. Then, you have to look anywhere else for anything else. Thank you so much for the promise and let's let's do it. See here, I told you some ICI, ICW exam questions also. Here I have written the concept and this is a question from ICW exam. Right guys? So, includes everything. We've been working very hard to ensure that the book that you get should be all sufficient. As somebody said, Sarva Guna Sampar. So, you don't have to carry any other book. Not even module because every word of module is covered. Not even any other question or anything else required. No, I'm there. We are there. We have covered you. Wherever we feel, we have written some important notes. So that helps you. Right? I hope we are clear guys with the book content. With the book content. Perfect. And to top it all. Will there be a magic book for SFM? Yes, there will be a magic book for SFM also. Yes, there will be a magic book as well. Don't worry. And to top it all, we will keep some test series for you. And probably I am planning for some India level test series. But, 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 but this test will be based on phase one. Phase 2, Phase 3 and Phase 4. And finally, a full syllabus test. Some people have suggested chapter wise also. But that for that, you can specifically contact my team. And they will help you with the specific chapter wise test. But for now, what we will do is we will keep it phase wise. Because too many tests should not happen that you know you get bored out of it. So, Phase 1, we have completed. It's not too much. It's not too less. Phase 2, not too much, not too less. Let's do it. Right? So, that's where I'll, I'll try something of that sort where in all over India, we have these phases and all the students together will give the exams at once and we'll have a probably a dummy ICI exam before the main examinations. Let's see. That's what my vision and dream is. If it works out, nothing like it. But definitely we will have these phase by test. That is for sure. Full syllabus test. That is for sure. All right, guys. So that's how the whole planning as far as my end is concerned. I hope we are very clear and very focused. In terms of everything that I am doing. Alright guys, so I hope you are also clear. Come on guys.
need your affirmations come on amazing plan perfect now let's execute it to the perfection so that's where in terms of books everything we we tried our best to cover all of this so here is what we've done so far the jp morgan experience economic times is your promise to me but my promise to you that i will explain things and stuffs portion of sfm i have discussed papers of sfm paper pattern we have discussed book detailing we have discussed phase wise studies test series we have discussed okay now comes the revision lecture so theory practical marathon revision sessions is what i again plan to do ensure that yeah some students ask that sir i have not done sfm ever will i be able to understand yes we will anyways case start from basics only so i don't think so you'll ever have a problem as far as that and then we have derivation of formulas so we'll try at max possible to derive all the formulas so that all the examples all the practicals are taken care of so what i will do is there is a practical example for every concept no concept falls from the earth from the sky no there is a practical reason why we have something so we will try to understand that practical example and we will try to derive all the formulas so that will really be very very interesting part when we do it all right guys so i hope we are on the right track and all of you guys are now excited and ready to start this journey right guys great great to know that chalo so now on that note let's take a short break with all of this in the head uh, i'll just flip through the pages if somebody wants they can write it and after the break i am going to start not with some chapter no 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 first lecture i never start with a chapter i give you i am going to give you a overview of global financial market and how does that global financial market connect with the indian financial market and how do all of these things work in totality trust me the next session will blow your mind away and by the end of this i ensure each one of you is going to experience a next level magic in your head and that is my promise but on the other side of the break is what we'll be having that are we ready for it great chalo so i'll take a break before i start bombarding you with more things first day we already had almost a 1 hour 10 minute lecture so we will just keep it here so the first discussion the prima facie discussion about how i am going to approach about my book about what is sfm about how we are going to divide it about uh, in uh, in phases and all of that is discussed from my end how we are going to conduct the tests right so all of that has been discussed from my end and now let's start with part 2 of this session after the break see you after 5 minutes thank you acha in case uh, any of you have doubts or anything i think you have my whatsapp number i'll still share it with you so this is my whatsapp number all right guys sure thank you so much see you all after the break